In today's video, we are going to talk about Linux environment variables. Well, if we talk about the variables in computer science, a variable is basically a location for storing a value that can be a file name, text, number, or any other form of data. Now, if we talk about the environment variable, these are the dynamic values that affect the processes or the programs on a computer. They usually exist in almost every operating system, but types may vary. Environment variables can be created, edited, saved, or you can also delete them as well. Now I'll show you that how you can create a variable. The command for that is export space. Now write the name of the variable. I'll name it as var equals. Now here you will enter the value. Let's say I write here, hello, hit enter. So we have successfully created a variable. Now I'll show you that how you can access that variable or how you can print that variable. To print a variable, command is print env after that name of the variable. In our case, that was var, hit enter. And here we have the value of that particular environment variables. In case if you want to see the all environment variables in your system, just write env in your terminal, hit enter. And these are all the environment variables that exist at the current time in my Ubuntu. So this is how you can access them. One thing is very important here. The variable that I created earlier, there is one more way that how you can access it. The command for that is echo space dollar sign and variable name hit enter. And here you can see we have successfully accessed it. One thing is very important here and that is this variable is only here for this session. As soon as I close my system, and log back in this environment variables will be here no more for that purpose we have to do some other things to make this permanent but i'll talk about it later now i'll show you that how you can change the value of a variable for that purpose again i'll write here export space var earlier the value of it was hello now let's write here youtube hit enter and now if I echo this variable and let's see what do we have here you can see the value have been changed successfully. Now to have a permanent variable we have to modify a file that stores the permanent variables in the system and the name of that file is bash rc. To open that file we'll use an editor and the editor will be nano and the command will be nano space dot bash rc hit enter create your variable anywhere in this file there is no compulsion as i have already created one with the value of var and now i will create one more variable and i will name this variable as where one equals now you can give any value to this variable let's give this value as linux hint just save this file by pressing ctrl s and press ctrl x to get out of this now let's access that variable and let's see what do we have in that variable and the name of the variable was var1 hit enter here we do not have any output in here because first of all we have to make those changes permanent in our dot bash rc file the command for that is source space dot bash rc hit enter and now we have successfully made the changes now if i access that variable here you can see we have the value as Linux end. So the variable that we have created now, which is var1, will be on local level. Means only this user will be able to have this one and use it. In case if any other user comes and uses the system, he or she will not be able to use this environment variable as they will not have access to it. So now let's create a global variable so that any user can come in and any user can use that particular environment variable. For that, let me clear my terminal. Now we need to go to a file where we will create an environment variable. For that purpose, first of all, we need to open a file and the file is nano environment, but that file exists in etc folder. For that purpose, first of all, we have to move to etc directory. So here it is, I will just hit enter. And now if I write here nano environment, here you can see it has taken the value on its own, hit enter, and this is the file. And in here, we will create 
a global variable. So let's create one. I will name it as export space global equals. Let's give it a value as welcome. And now let's get out of this. So this is how you can create your environment variable. At the end, let's see how we can remove a particular variable. To remove the variable, we have a command that is unset. First of all, let's get out of our etc folder or etc directory. And now let's delete our var1 variable. For that, I will write here unset space var1, hit enter. And now let's try to print var1. For that, I will write here echo space dollar sign var1. And here you can see we do not have anything in here. And that was all about the environment variables that how you can create them and how you can access them and how you can change the values.